You can easily get derailed from your keto goals while you're traveling, on vacation, or you just need a quick bite. And if you're eating out day after day, you're soon gonna be reaching for your elastic waist pants. But I have compiled my ultimate tips and tricks for staying keto while you're traveling, and they don't involve elastic pants. If you do choose to stay keto while traveling, eating out on the road can be tricky. There's so many temptations and it can be hard to judge whether something is keto or not. I'm gonna share my best options for keto fast food. Plus I have a few items that I bring from home to make it more enjoyable and so you're not stuck eating a bunless burger all the time. I'm gonna go over what I bring with me. And obviously these things are gonna be easier if you're traveling by car. If you're traveling by plane, you can still bring them, especially in your carry-on luggage. I've brought prosciutto, mozzarella cheese, even an artichoke with me, and that was a fun one to explain to airport security when they randomly checked my bag. The first item you might consider bringing are keto buns. And I told you, no more bungless burgers. And there are so many options available for us at the grocery store. There's a lot of them that you can find in the bread section. Now these ones do contain gluten, but if you're trying to be gluten-free, check your freezer section of the grocery store because I found a lot of different options in there. One of them that I know my grocery store carries and I've seen in Whole Foods as well is called Unbun. These are gluten-free and they're keto. Smart Bun is another brand. It is actually zero net carbs per bun and it's gluten-free, but I haven't seen these in the grocery store. So you, you do have to order them online to make sure that you're just prepared ahead of time. Besides buns, low carb bread is another option. Again, these are available at most grocery stores. Check the bread section. A lot of them do contain gluten. There are some gluten-free ones that I also found at my grocery store in the freezer section. There's Base Culture and then Carbonaut is another brand. They have a gluten-free bread that's two grams of net carbs base culture is around four grams of net carbs per slice. Low carb wraps are another great option to bring and these can be found in the tortilla section of your grocery store. Most of these do contain gluten, although Mission has come out with a almond flour based tortilla, but it is higher in carbs I noticed and it does contain sugar. If you're looking for a gluten-free option, Untortilla, which is the same maker that makes the Unbun, has a gluten-free tortilla. There's other options you can bring like the egg wraps or crepinis, when traveling, one of the things I never leave home without is my electrolytes. And this is the one that I use. It's by Element Electrolytes, who's my sponsor for today's video. When I'm on the road, it's easy to get dehydrated. I'm not drinking enough water, we're active, I'm out in the sun. And so replacing essential electrolytes is super important for my energy levels. An Element is a delicious electrolyte drink that has all the electrolytes I need to keep my energy levels up. It contains a science-backed mix of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. But I like that it contains no sugar, no coloring, and no fillers and it's perfectly formulated to those on the keto diet. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with every order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash ketofocus. This deal is only available through my link. Again, you go to drinklmnt.com slash ketofocus. Oh, and I can't forget this, shelf-stable cauliflower rice. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a little bit. It's time to hit the road. When stopping at fast food restaurants, the obvious choice is a burger joint. McDonald's, Burger King, Sonic, Carl's Jr. They all have options for us low carbers. The most obvious is to order a bunless burger, but if you're afraid they're gonna look at you like a freak, then just order the burger with the bun and ditch it and replace it with a keto bun. I have a quarter pounder um, with no ketchup and add mayo. That way you can still enjoy a burger without sacrifice. Another option is to order a side salad, and most of these places have salad as an option. Then you also order the bunless burger, and then just slide your burger on top of your salad, and now you have a Big Mac salad. Some burger places like Five Guys and Carl's Jr. actually do offer a lettuce wrap, so if you don't wanna bring your own buns or you just don't wanna risk having like gluten in your buns, then maybe choose these restaurants. Taco Bell is my kryptonite, but I can still stay keto and enjoy that south of the border flavor. One of the best options is to order their Power Bowl. It's basically a taco salad, but you can customize it. Hi, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, what can I get started for you? Yeah, can I get a steak Power Bowl with no rice or beans? Add extra steak, add chicken, add extra lettuce and guacamole, and no sour cream. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Their sour cream is reduced fat, so you can save two grams of carbs if you ditch the sour cream. This is six grams of net carbs and almost 400 calories. 
You can also order your favorite taco. I also need two Taco Supremes with no sour cream. Then we switch our tortillas. Now I have a keto taco with seven grams of net carbs instead of 35. Feel like a sandwich? These are your options for a sandwich shop. You can order your favorite sandwich, but this is where those keto wraps come in, or you can just use keto bread. Empty the filling into your keto-friendly wrap and you just reduced your carbs by 75%. A six inch is about 40 grams of carbs, and once you use the low-carb wrap, it reduces it to around six to 10 grams. Subway also allows you to turn any sandwich into a salad, and they even have a protein bowl option, which is just double the protein. Depending on the type you get, the net carbs there can range anywhere between five to eight grams. Don't feel like a burger and maybe you want some chicken instead? Here are some options that you can choose at KFC. They even have original recipe, which is low in carbs. For a drumstick or wings, it's only three grams of net carbs. The thighs and breasts are gonna be double that. And keep in mind that these aren't gluten-free because they do use flour in their coating. For sides, sadly, coleslaw, which is my favorite, is not keto-friendly. I'm just ordering two drumsticks of the original recipe, so it's gonna be six net carbs. Now surprisingly, some of these fast food restaurants don't carry salads anymore. It really depends on your location, so make sure you check that out first. In case you're missing Chinese food, you can still enjoy Panda Express. These options are higher in carbs, but if you have a hankering and really want some Chinese food and the rest of your family wants it, sometimes it's your only choice. Here's what you can get. Black pepper Angus steak, it has nine grams of net carbs. Broccoli beef is 11 grams of net carbs. Grilled teriyaki chicken, which is my favorite, is eight grams of net carbs. Mushroom chicken, nine grams of net carbs. And string bean chicken breast, nine grams of net carbs. You wanna order a la carte and the small entree. And this is also where my bag of shelf-stable cauliflower rice comes in. Pour that in and you have yourself a teriyaki chicken bowl. Besides all the amazing keto drinks that you've heard about, Starbucks also has an excellent food menu, and I'm not talking about lemon loaf and croissants. My go-to when ordering at Starbucks is a sausage cheddar egg sandwich. I simply pull off the bread and fold it like a taco, only two grams of net carbs. And of course you can do the bread or bun hack with most of their sandwiches. Their egg bites is also an option, but the bacon Greer egg bites have nine grams of net carbs and they do contain flour. Chipotle is a keto favorite and they actually have a keto bowl. It comes with chicken, lettuce, fajita veggies, cheese, sour cream, cilantro, lime, cauliflower rice, if they have it there, and guacamole. And that comes to around 10 grams of net carbs, eight if you ditch the sour cream. And you can also do the tortilla trick at Chipotle and just order their soft taco or burrito and switch out for your tortilla. Just remember not to order the rice or beans and if they have it, opt for the cauliflower rice. Obviously, if you're traveling or on vacation, you have the choice to eat low carb or not. It's up to you and your goals. And if you do fall off keto and want to get back on, click right here to see one of my favorites.